This is the Business of Leadership Series Minute with your host, the best-selling author of Don't Buy a Duck and founder of MarketingStrategyHero.com, Derek Champagne. So what are you most proud of, professionally and personally? I'd love to know. Personally, my family, my wife and my little boys. Kind of two boys. To, two boys, yeah. Hey, what's the energy level like at your uh, house? High. <laughs> Not in me and them. Uh, they, the sleeping yeah. and loud are the two. They are, yeah, <laughs> they are rambunctious. I was chased out of the house this morning uh, with some plastic dinosaurs and, and roaring. <laughs> so it was, it was crazy. Um, That's great. No dull moments for you. No, no dull moments. <laughs> and uh, my wife actually just went out of town uh, this last weekend uh, to Dallas to see her parents. And uh, so I was a bachelor for four days and it was terrible. Uh, I, I tried, I did get some things done. Uh, to a degree, I found, though, that the restrictions I have and, and the other responsibilities I have in my life force me to have only a small window of time to work right. on other things. Yeah. And and what that does is it forces me, the constraint helps me focus and, and get a lot done. So I'm actually more productive when when they're around and I've got yeah. lots of other things so going on. you a deafening on. silence with them gone for yeah, few days. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I would need to practice at it. I yeah. hope never to have to do that again. I, yeah. I, I love my life the way it is. Uh, but yeah, I don't think I'd be very good no. on my own. So. I have very small windows, <laughs> even when very small windows of time that yeah. my kids aren't running around. Yeah. And it's eerily quiet when they're not. Yeah, around. it's weird. <laughs> is everything uh, okay? <laughs> yeah. And so, and then professionally, I'm proud of the relationships I've built with certain people. The things, you know, the businesses, the 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 design, the the brand work, the products, all of that is an as an outcome of, of those relationships because I couldn't do I couldn't do what I do without the people around me and I have to remind myself of that. Hmm. It's not me, it's it's everyone else around right. me. Uh, there's there's this lone, lone wolf mentality in entrepreneurs. Hmm. Uh, this kind of myth. We talk about the Steve Jobs of the world and, and everyone else, and like they're just they're just really tiny. Like, yeah, yeah, they're they're interesting and they're smart and that's all fine. But like, they got there on the backs of thousands of other people, and those are the actual interesting people. Uh, it's everyone else who did all the work right. to get there. Um, I do think you need need leadership and, and influence, but I, I think there's a lot of collective creativity and, and power in, in a group. It's a lot harder to get a group to do something than it is just you personally spouting off, uh, right. you know, altruisms. And, and I, I agree. I think a, I think yeah. a lone wolf can be an owner operator. Yeah. But to build a business, yeah, that that's servicing many and yeah. it does good. It's it, you're not going to do that with a right. lone wolf. And I and I treat I treat a fair amount of my life as a business in the sense that I I think about input and output. To hear full episodes of the Business Leadership Series, visit blsnow.net.